common sense, the belt, and a home-cooked meal. That's how we used to raise children. The Lord, the village, common sense, the belt, and a home-cooked meal. Reverend Swan mentioned one of my earlier books is titled, Adam, Where Are You? While most black men don't go to church. Well, as you know, Reverend Swan, is not just Adam Sr. we're having a problem with. We're having a problem now with Adam Jr. I mean, should I tell you how many times I've preached at Youth Church or Youth Sunday or, or, or Youth Sunday or Youth Weekend, and I look around at the youth choir, and it's a 50 choir strong, and it's 40 girls and 10 boys? I'm so glad my mother and father taught me if you're going to party all Saturday night, you're going to be praising my God all Sunday morning. But some parents make it optional for their sons. We'll come back, that, we'll come back to that when I close with some mothers who raise their daughters and love their sons. But right now we're looking at the formula, the Lord, the village. You know the village? Remember, Reverend Swan, when you and I were growing up, parents and neighbors were on the same side. Parents and teachers were on the same side. Do you know, well, not in Springfield, but in Hartford, in Boston, do you know there are now children <clears throat> that will tell another adult, you're not my mama, you're not my daddy, you can't tell me what to do. Can you imagine if you had said that to another adult when you were growing up? You still would not be able to sit down here tonight. I mean, I haven't always been Dr. Kanjifa. It was a long time ago. It was 1866. I'm a freshman in Chicago. I'm going with the finest sister in the school. It's a half a day of school. Everybody knows it's a half a day. Except two key people. My mama and my dad. I got this thing all planned. Me and Denise are going to my house to do a little something-something at around 12 o'clock. Got it all planned. And my nosy neighbor, Miss Jones, stuck her head out the window and said, You home mighty early, Jawanza. Does your mama know you home? Now, Miss Jones was so nosy, she knew my mama's work number. Now, I'm a Christian. But that day, I could have killed Miss Jones. <laughs> but Miss Jones saved my life. I was only 14. If Denise had gotten pregnant, my whole career would have changed. If you naively believe that you can raise your children by yourself, without a village, you are sadly mistaken. The Lord, the village, common sense, the belt, the Bible, don't believe me, the Bible says spread a rod and you what? But I, I found out Reverend Swan in America, for some reason, that's why I use the word common sense. For some of us, the more degrees we earn, we begin to want to talk to our children. You know, time out. When you're in your favorite restaurant and they throw plates across the room, that's not the time to talk about time out. There's a time to touch, and there's a time to talk. And common sense and the Holy Ghost will tell you when it's time for a time out and when it's time for the belt. The Lord, the village, common sense, the belt, and a home-cooked meal. Can you imagine there, there, there are now parents, Reverend Swan, where we go the entire week and they haven't had one meal together as a family. Homes now remind me of bus stations and train stations and airports where people kind of run through, get the food out of the kitchen, go to their private room, eat TV, eat their dinner, and then go about their business. In the name of Jesus, can we at least have one day? And that's the, that's the minimum. I mean, it should be every day we can spend at least 30 minutes together as a family eating dinner together. But I'll come back to that. When I mention go to their private room, there's a rumor running around Massachusetts that this could be the first generation of African-American youth 
then they never leave home. It's real quiet now, isn't it? I mean, there are some parents, not you. There are some parents who've given their child their own television, telephone, DVD player, Nintendo, Xbox, in their room. They have a private apartment in your house and not paying any rent. Now they want a microwave. And then parents call me and say, can you talk to my child? I don't understand. I gave them everything. You see, the average father is only spending seven minutes a day talking to his children. The average mother, only 34 minutes. When you give children things and not enough time, they may never leave home. The other rumor is, it's the first Joshua generation that may not exceed the Moses generation in academic achievement. Hear me tonight. Every Joshua generation has exceeded the former. But this generation may not exceed you in academic achievement. Please make sure those rumors are not true. Back them over here projecting screen. I'm a consultant to schools nationwide on closing the racial achievement gap. On the SAT, Asian score, Holy Ghost, they don't say it that way. One group scored 1,600. One group scored 1,582. Another group scored 1,371. And one group scored 1,291. 1,600. 1582, 1371, 1291. We're going to call one group African American, another group Asian American, another group white American, the other group Hispanic American. Which group do you think scored 1600? Are there any Asians up in here tonight? How come you didn't choose your race first? Who scored 1582? Who scored 1371? Who scored 1291? Question. Are we better in sports and music? And they're better in math and science? Are they better in rap and, I'm sorry, are they better in reading and we're better in rap? Question. What percent of the NBA, you know, the National Black Association, what percent of the NBA is African American? Eighty-six percent. What percent of the doctors and engineers are African American? Six percent. You're correct. Asian scored 1600. Whites 1582. Hispanics 1371. African Americans, 1291. So schools bring me in to look at what we can do to close this achievement gap. Now they love telling me the reason for the gap is because black children come from low-income homes. They love telling me the reason for the gap is because the daddy didn't stay. They love telling me the reason for the gap is because the mother does not possess a college degree. I don't believe any of that. And I pray you don't believe it either. I believe the reason for the gap is in two categories. Time on task and expectations. I believe whatever you do most will be what you do best. Asians scored 1,600 because they studied 12 hours a week. White students scored 1,582 because they studied 8 hours a week. Does anyone have any idea how many hours, because it didn't take long, for African Americans to score 1291? How many hours do you think we studied? One hour. But we watched 38 hours of television, 18 hours listening to rap music, 13 hours playing video games, 11 hours playing basketball and nine hours texting it on the telephone. 